Hello, gentlemen. How are you today? Greetings from your city hall. I know we're going to be out there soon. I'm excited. I know we're we're excited to have we're excited to have you back. Okay, I only have a few minutes, so let's get started. Eric, I want to start with you because, um, first of all, kudos to you guys. This show is is off the charts. It's such a great show. But from you, what challenge is it to come up with this fantastic material every season and then keep it fresh and keep current and relevant? Well, I think part of it is exactly what you're saying of keeping it current and relevant. I mean, the world keeps changing in pretty insane ways. I mean, one thing that is kind of amazing about this show is I don't think there's any other time that we could have made it and it would have been as successful and as, you know, compelling as I think it turned out to be. It just... It, it happens to be reflecting the exact world we're living in, this intersection of celebrity and authoritarianism and the way social media is used to sell um, all sorts of, you know, political movements. And, and like, we live in a very specific time and this show happens to be a really good reflection of that. So, you know, as long as we in the writer's room do two things, as long as first and foremost, focused on the characters and making sure the characters are rock solid and we understand where they're going. I say to the, I say to the writers all the time, I'm like, you know, any given actor playing this role, they're coming to you on set. They're asking you, why am I doing this? And what's my arc? What are you going to say to them? And it's actually a useful way in the writer's room to think about, like, you have to be able to really flesh out the interior lives so you can speak intelligently about them. Um, And then just what, you know, what frightens you, worries you, remark, you know, what have you noticed happening in the world that you want to bring into your work? And, And by doing those two things, I think we managed to keep the show pretty fresh. Oh, yeah, you totally manage. Okay, Anthony... Congratulations, Homelander. I love him. He's, he is one of my faves, I got to tell you, you know, but I, I, for you, what excited you most, you know, because there's been such a change with him every season. So going into season four, was there something that really excited you about what you were about to do with him? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm surprised every time I read a script, you know, it's, uh, there was what, there was a moment before we went into shooting. I don't have a lot to offer in between seasons. I see what the writers cook up because they're you know they're brilliant so i'm not yeah. a, I, I, I would never enter that fray that's i know my lane um but i i almost did because there was just things going on in my life but i spent a lot of time away from new zealand um yeah. I'm, I'm away i'm traveling a lot and it you know it takes it, there's an impact there's a, of course and i i felt that and i wanted to put that that sort of uh, the idea of aging and i'm, I'm just had my birthday i'm 49 I wanted to just Congratulations. thank you so much. I just wanted to lean into that a little bit. And then I pulled myself back. I caught my rain, rain myself in and said, know your lane, you know, do you stay, stay in your lane, open the script. And what is it? It's the boys version of exactly that, you know, collecting right. things in a jar and I won't go to specifics, but we know what it was. Um, so the, the the amazing thing for me about this character is the the latitude that there's been uh, to pull things in from from my reality and as Eric just said from the world's reality, but and I think the reason that the show will stand the test of time and be and the reason underneath that at a deeper level is all the thematically it's yeah. timeless. Thematically, yeah. it's all about thing. It's all about you know, for for me, for my character, for example, it's about power. It's about self loathing. It's about fatherhood. It's about connection. And you know, all these things that are just very, very real human issues from day one. Yeah. Well, listen. I wish I had more time to talk to you, but we cannot wait to get you guys back here into our city. And I just wanted to give you a personal thank you for bringing so much joy to our city and this show. I mean, honestly, I love picking out locations. I have so much fun watching it. We love having you. So we can't yeah. wait to get you back. Thank you so much. Yeah, for everything. Thank okay. you. Bye, guys. Thanks.